you so much for joining me. We are going to go through how to do an undulation, yeah? An undulation is a wave-like motion of any body part. So you can undulate your hands, you can undulate sideways. So anything that waves. Let's see our undulations, ladies, for just a second. Good, so we wanna find that fluid-like motion. I'm gonna teach you how to tap into your bones, the natural bend and curve of your spine, as well as our abdominal wall. So finding just the abdominal undulation. This is a quick tutorial. Take what you can and let's try it. So first, an undulation is gonna start from the upward contraction. An undulation has three release and contraction. So top, right here, middle, and our lower. To tap into your top, we wanna do a chest slide forward and a chest slide back. So if you go forward and back, this is our point that we're moving from. Open, contract, beautiful. To find our center line, we wanna think about open and then contract, creating a C in our belly. Open the belly, pull it in, awesome. To find our lower portion, think about tuck and release the hip, yeah? Tuck the pelvis in, release the pelvis back. All the while, we still want to lift our abdominals and protect our back. We never wanna just uh, out, yeah? So we have our upward contraction and release, release, contract, good. Our middle belly, release our belly, pull that C curve, find our C, and then our lower belly, open and tilt. So tilting away and in, cool. So that's one part of it, right? Now to make this undulation look bigger, we're gonna take our chest and push it forward, and then we're gonna press our core out by finding the back C to find the inner C, hip in, pelvis down, good. So we have heart, C contraction, pelvis, release. To make this full and big, just using our spine, we can really push forward and in and out. Good. Forward and in and out. Nice. Now, if you want to reverse it just for fun, the hips are back. We tuck the hips in. We reverse our C, now it's back here. And we lift our heart. <gasps> Good, we can bring it back down. Tuck, belly, contract, release. Awesome. If you're having a little bit of trouble with this, we're gonna use the wall to help you. This is a trick I do with my students in class. A, it's gonna make you laugh because it's a little silly, but B, it'll connect your brain to the flow of an undulation. And we're gonna really exaggerate this for the purposes of teaching. I wouldn't necessarily get on stage and ah, nice and big. We can like Janet Jackson it a little, if it feels really good, they think I'm crazy, it's okay, you can too. So we wanna find a wall, and if you stand away from your wall, you're basically gonna put your chest on the wall. Whoop. Then you're gonna put your belly on the wall, and then your hips on the wall, and then come away. Yeah, so doing that a few times, like they are in the back over here, can kind of teach you the sway of that motion, really opening up your heart and bringing it in. If you need some flexibility, try my yoga warm up and release that body before you start jumping into these undulations. All right, ladies, come on back. So now that we've kind of felt that motion on the wall, which is kind of fun, we want to now tap into the abdominal wall. So it's a little bit different. As before, you can do just an undulation with your muscular wall. So release your belly, and as if you were on the beach in a bikini, go whoop, and pull it in, yeah? You see someone cute, and you're like, ah, pull it in. Or maybe you get scared, and you're like, ah, pull it in. So that is your muscle on top. Whoop, and whoop. release, ka, release, ka, release. Now, to deepen this, to get deep in that belly, we're gonna help let gravity help us. We're gonna put our hands on our knees and lean over a little bit. Now, we're gonna pull it in, 
drop the diaphragm. In, drop. In, drop. Talking and doing this is a bit difficult, so I'm going to play a little music for you, and we're gonna do six in a row. We have. Shake it up. Now what that does, if you exhale your breath, we're gonna do this one more time. We're gonna exhale. And inhale back in. <laughs> Good. If you exhale your breath, you're creating more space in your belly so that you're able to pull your diaphragm up and drop it down with a thud. You wanna think that really heavy, lift, 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 and let it go. So basically, I'm sucking my stomach in as far as I possibly can to lift my diaphragm, and then I release the diaphragm to drop. And if you don't have any breath in yourself, like if you can exhale and do this, you're gonna go deeper. So let's practice one more time. We're gonna exhale all of our breath out. So exhale, ladies. Start to lean it over. I'm gonna stay standing for this one. They're gonna lean it over so that you can see. We're gonna exhale, and one, two, three. Good, shake it off. I say six, because when you get to eight, you start to get a little dizzy. Nice. So now that we've done that a few times, we've connected our brain to our muscular wall a little bit better. Connecting your brain to this, all of your muscles here is gonna help you. So this is your rectus abdominis, you have your obliques on your side. So we're really working our rectus abdominis by pulling everything in and dropping it down. Good. Now I want you to think about pushing and filling up your upper belly. So where we had that chest slide earlier, close your rib cage, keep it still, and put the breath in the upper portion of the belly, your mid belly. Push mid belly down. So we push out and we pull in. Push out, pull in. Push out, pull in. Naturally, you're gonna have some movement in the heart and some movement in the tailbone because everything is connected. All right, getting into our full body undulation. And the reason I say this is because yes, Anybody can dive their head down, pick their head up, voila, you have an undulation. But we want chest, push, and pull, release. Chest, push, pull, release. Maybe taking that upper arm. Good. So as I have my spine working in my favor, I also am pushing my belly out and pulling my belly in. So use your spine and your muscular wall together. Let's switch that. Push and pull. Okay. And two. Last one. And one. Good. Awesome job. So leave me some notes in the comment. Let me know if you have questions. I will respond. I hope this tutorial has helped you a little bit to find your undulations and be on the lookout for a much more thorough tutorial in months to come. Thank you so much. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and follow me on Instagram at jbellyburn. Special thank you to Zakia and a special thank you to Deanna, two of my incredible students and friends. And if you're in New York City, come join us and take class with us. Thank you guys. Happy undulating.